Uh, I can tell you from the reporting side of it is uh, our hate crimes are not up this year. Uh, they're actually down a little bit. Not a lot. You know, not a lot. you'd say, wow, they've been cut by 50%. Um, no, not at all. They're down a bit. Uh, so that is somewhat encouraging, uh, considering when you look, you know, in other environments uh, where they may be on the rise. Um, I think, you know, there's a... Uh, 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 greater sensitivity and a bit greater awareness of hate crimes right now just because we've had a couple of incidences that were very um, out there, very tangible, very open uh, in the community and I think you know, our communities have a right to be concerned about this. I, again, we have a zero tolerance for, for hate and uh, but we, you know, we have a hate crimes unit obviously, we uh, investigate these things thoroughly and completely, we take them very, very seriously. We certainly need people to report them, that's very important. Um, and, but we do track them very closely. We get every hate crime that comes in, every complaint, and it may be reported as a hate crime and it may turn out to not necessarily be a hate crime by the definition of within the criminal code or whatever else, but that doesn't mean we just, oh, it doesn't fit the definition. We say, oh, we're not going to investigate that. Mm -hmm. uh, we take a very aggressive uh, view of any kind of hate uh, in Edmonton and we investigate that thoroughly and completely. So, because we know the impact it has on um, you know, a community uh, it can have, uh, you know, we may say, oh, it's no big deal. Uh, but an entire community that's being or feels they're being um, singled out in any way, shape or form can feel this is an enormous problem. And particularly if you're new to this country, like how is, how is, how do the police respond to this? How does the community respond to this? And so uh, we have, uh, you know, we're certainly sympathetic to the perception sometimes and uh, sometimes the police, the police are most important roles to get out there and educate people around understand this is an isolated incident, uh, understand we take it seriously, understand that we caught somebody and, and letting them know that we caught an individual. Um, you know, one of our challenges is just social media, uh, it just allows everybody to have a voice and, uh, and of course there's a more opportunity to get hate crime out there where before you sent a letter to somebody or painted a swastika on the side of a house, uh, now you can do that to thousands of people through social media. And so I think we're seeing, uh, you know, sometimes it's a perception as much as it's a reality and I think we have to make sure we understand which is which, but uh, you know, social media is certainly facilitating uh, a lot of the challenges that we're having in policing right now and specifically around hate crime. Yeah.